What is going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel. My name is James and today I am actually on my way over to the property that I'm going to be primarily hunting this year uh, to go get my stuff all set up and so I'm very excited about it. I love doing prep work for deer season so I've got a truck loaded up with the hunting stuff. I got two tree stands I'm going to get set up. One's a ladder and then the other is a hang on tree stand and yeah, I'm just gonna get the lane, the tree stands up, lanes cleared, and ready for season. I talked about a little bit in another video that the uh, property I am going to right now is about 15 acres, so it's a bit smaller piece. That's where I thought the two tree stands would give me good coverage to hunt different winds. And then um, it's primarily a mix of hardwoods and pines, not really any open areas as far as I know, and not really, it has no crops or anything like that on it. But it should be pretty good. Um, I'm just looking forward to it. I live literally 10 minutes away from it, so that's gonna be super nice. Uh, I actually got my dad coming with me. He's in the, another truck, and he's gonna help me out with getting these all set up and getting myself all prepped for the hunting season. So I'm looking forward to it. It's fun. I love that my dad was able to come and help because him and I enjoy doing this stuff together. And this year we hadn't been able to. He's gone up to like, the property he's going to be mainly hunting at a few times but i haven't been able to go with them so it's cool that he was able to come too and now we're able to get my stands all set up he might end up hunting these at some point in this season like he's totally it's totally cool if he does but he doesn't have immediate plans of it at least but we're gonna get all set up get these tree stands up pick the best spots we can and just see what the hunting season brings. Today is September 30th, and tomorrow is opening day of bow season here in Michigan. I'm very behind, but it's still gonna be good. I, it's been a crazy year, and so I'm really not mad that I'm this far behind. I'm just happy that I'm getting out here to do it, and I'm excited. I just love this stuff, and I feel blessed to do it. So hope you guys enjoy this, and we're just gonna dive on in to prep work for the 2021 deer season. Well guys, I just took a drive around the perimeter of the property. My cousin let us borrow his golf cart and uh, just drive around to kind of start our scouting that way. My dad and I ended up finding an absolutely dynamite looking spot. I didn't get any video of it because I was so caught up scouting. <laughs> um, but I'm going to show you guys it in just a couple of minutes here. I just grabbed the tree stand. We're going to go set that one up, then do a little more scouting and see where we're going to set the second one up. But this spot, there's trails everywhere. It's just insane. I don't even know the best place of setting it as far as wind direction goes, but we're gonna do our best. It's uh, trails galore back in there. So it's really sweet, pretty. Th we got it in a little more open area on the edge of some thicker stuff. So I'll show you guys it in a little bit and kind of show you <laughs> how I got the tree stand all set here to make the drive over there. So my dad's using the bathroom and then we're gonna get back to it and get the stand up, so stay tuned. Got the tree stands ladder strapped in. All our stuff on the back of the golf cart here. Our ratchet straps and stuff down in there. So, all ready to go get this set. Well guys, it's about a week later since I got over and got one tree stand set up over at my cousin's place. Um, I didn't get the second one set up because I just kind of ran out of time, but I located a couple areas that I was thinking of uh, possibly setting a stand. So today what I'm about to do is go back over to his property, get trail cam set up in those areas that I'm considering, and also getting one 
uh, set up at the place where I have my tree stand currently and just running cameras and then kind of seeing what is happening at those different spots to then decide uh, where I want to set my second tree stand up at. It's, I think, October 8th right now, but I'm really going to be hunting his property primarily for the rut is my game plan. So I'm just kind of prepping for that more so. I don't plan to hunt there until at least late October. I'm going for a hunt up north in mid-October, so I'm just going to be holding off until after that to go up back to his place and hunt it. So yeah, that's my game plan for today. I'm just going to get over there throw up some trail cams and he's been seeing deer consistently at his house like each time I'm texting him he's like oh I just saw a group of like four doe or whatever so that's pretty cool but we're not sure on what bucks are around so I just want to get the trail cams out see what's happening it's raining pretty good right now so I'm actually just going to capitalize on that so it'll just wash my scent right away and hopefully not disturb too much in the big picture and so I'm just going to let these cameras run and then probably once getting back from hunting up north check the cameras and then make a game plan more for the rut after that all right guys i just pulled into the property so i'm gonna grab my backpack and throw on my swamper boots so i don't get too wet maybe throw on a rain jacket and uh get out there get the trail cams all set and situated and let the prep work continue the l rain has lightened up a little bit so hopefully i can get it done before it starts pouring some more and not get too wet but if I get wet, I get wet. I don't mind. It's just fun to be out here. So going to get to it and get her done. All right, so I'm just making it to my tree stand here. So I'll kind of show you guys my ladder stand set up. I have to climb up in it to pull my uh, camera arm down. I need that for while I go up north and I'm gonna get this trail cam set and situated and go from there. So this spot actually, I didn't talk about it too too much in depth. Um, you got some thick stuff off to your left here and it's kind of thicker back behind over your right hand shoulder as well and it opens up a little bit in this area and there's just trails everywhere throughout here it's just a good cruising spot and so for the rut i just think this is going to be an absolutely sweet spot the deer move through here pretty regularly you can tell with all these beat down runs so i'm really excited about it it's one of the coolest spots that i feel like i've ever had it's most the most excited i've been about one so i'm gonna climb up in the stand here grab that and um yeah keep moving forward so here's my trail hand that's out in front of my stand you got Kind of some intersecting runways through here and just a cool little intersection point so i'm gonna get the batteries changed new sd card in and move on to the next uh, trail cam location all right so that one's all set um i had a little issues like the camera that was initially there i couldn't tell if it was working or not like it looks like it was but i just didn't have a way of guaranteeing it so i just switched it out because i'd rather have whatever camera I have at my tree stand for sure be working. So that's why I just was like, you know what, I'll just switch it, play it safe, and set that one up elsewhere. So I'm now making my way to another spot that I wanna get a trail cam up. And um, this spot I might, I don't know if I'll do the mock at this one or at a different one. So we'll see once I get over there. But yeah, one down, two to go. Well guys, I'm back home now and uh, unfortunately I didn't realize until getting home that a lot of my audio got really jacked up just from the rain being outside. I think some of it just got on the phone and like really distorted some of the audio. So some of the clips that you're going to still be seeing or already have watched, the audio might sound a little bit off because of that. Others I just couldn't even use at all. So I just figured I'd come on here and give like a little wrap up of you know, what you guys missed out on me saying. So basically I ended up going and finding this one spot and I set my second trail camera in. Um, there's kind of a couple of runways in this one spot, a little intersection point where it opened up in the midst of some thicker pines. So I thought it looked interesting, 
that wasn't like a spot that I was blown away by, but I figured, hey, why not just throw a trail cam up and see what's happening. Where I decided to set the third one is the spot that I'm pretty sure I'm gonna set my uh, second tree stand up at, depending upon what I see on camera. But the spot just looked really, really good. Um, it's on the edge of my cousin's property and the neighbors that is just on the other side of his property, they have a large field over there and where I would be setting my tree stand up in, it would be in a nice sized pine tree in the midst of some thicker pines with some open shooting lanes. And then almost on the edge of a two track that my cousin has going around the perimeter of his property. And so basically it's, you got the two track, the pines, which is where I would be on the right hand side. On the left hand side of that two track is the neighbor's property. And so you're almost, this spot would be cutting the deer off before they reach the neighbors. And this, you could tell it was a nice travel corridor through some nice thick pines. And um, there's just a couple of really nice beat down trails. And I picked a couple different trees that I would probably put the stand in. And from the stand, you could shoot those runways before they reach where the neighbor's property would be. And so I threw a trail cam up that you could kind of see the deer before they would cross over the neighbor's just see what'll come up on there but i'm pretty sure that that's the spot that i'm going to set my second tree stand up at it looked really good i was really excited about it um so we're gonna just kind of wait it out see what happens on the cameras but i think i'll end up back there setting something in that area um and that just kind of wrapped it up i got three cameras out there see what happens on them but i think i know where i miss up my next tra tree stand and I'm very excited to be able to pull the cards on those, but I don't know when that's going to happen, if it'll be next week or the following week. So we'll just kind of see, but I'll take you guys along with me when I do that for the first time and see what we got on camera. But yeah, that about does it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it and that you guys are enjoying seeing this hunting content that I'm doing. And yeah, so if you guys enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell before you guys go. Catch you guys next week with another video.